and we are walking down the Mall. <laughs> there is the Mall. You can see the famous pink strip. And the palace is directly in front, which you can't see because of all the lush trees. But we are getting there and we are having to walk very, very quickly. There's a beautiful little park to the left hand side, but we have no time to stop and enjoy the park because we are on a mission. So let's get there. We hear horses. We do. We see horses behind us. They're coming up. In a moment, I'll turn the camera around to get them. Can you see them coming up? I don't know, but they are coming. So the horses are coming and we're coming up to where Clarence house is through the trees over there where Charles and Camilla live. Right, can you hear the horses? You must be able to hear them now. They're catching up with us. There we go. Oh, look. Beautiful. Wow. Complete with tiaras. It must be a wedding procession. I think it's a wedding procession, maybe. Ooh, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. wow. Yes, I think definitely a wedding. Get everybody. Wave at them. I'm waving. Okay, yes, those are, that's Clarence House where the gates are. There we have the palace up ahead, coming up to the Victoria Memorial. It's just uh, like our Lego. It does look just like the Lego palace that we built. Wow. I can't believe I'm back at the palace and I'll be going in there. Wow. It'll be the first time I've ever been inside Buckingham Palace. So it will be a real treat. We've got 10 minutes to spare. Um, obviously the carriages are stuck in traffic. I think it was someone's private wedding. But we waved and we said hello and they waved back, so that's good. There we go, look. Oh, wow. We have the palace. Magnificent. Splendor. Or China. Oh, ooh, look at the little gardens, looking very good. Right, now I've got to work out where we go. Left. Okay, let's go left. And of course, the Queen is not in residence. The flag is not flying. The Royal Standard is not atop of the palace. The Queen is safely installed at Balmoral with Philip. Ah. Right, just crossing the road. We think it's somewhere down here. Uh, obviously, tra traffic has delayed us slightly, but there we go. Right, let's get across. Can we go across the lawn? Yeah. Just been to the Royal Muse and the Queen's Gallery. <laughs> wow. I got to see all the state coaches and I got to see the George IV state diadem. It was absolutely amazing. So I am really, really happy. We are now literally just outside the palace. So I'll turn the camera around and show you all. Uh, on the outside looking in. Ah, uh, that should be my home, people. No, it's currently undergoing major renovation works, as many of you will know. Uh, you can see the Queen's Guards. If I zoom in over there but yes it's um quite majestic from the front and as you can see from the side you can see the the older more original masonry towards the rear and the add-on which is the front facade wow look at those gates <gasps> very ornate Oh, and there's the Victoria Memorial. <laughs> we don't know if something important is coming because the gates are open. And there's three armed police officers. So is something coming? We do not know. Um, maybe we'll have to wait and see. Okay, and there we have the central balcony where the Queen and members of the royal family come out on important occasions such as Trooping the Colour and royal weddings. 
many a kiss has been had, a royal kiss, on that balcony. Today there is no changing of the guard ceremony, so I cannot see one of those. Heading up to the Victoria Memorial. It's the first time I've ever, ever actually been on the memorial. So this is um, different. And of course you can see the palace from this angle, which makes a really good photo. Oh. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm going all the way up. Look at the marble. Looks incredible. Let's go take a photo of the ballets. <gasps> wow. Oh look, a lovely view down the mile. It does look really cool. Being careful not to slip on the wet. Wow. And there she is, Queen Victoria, looking down the mile. Looking at the Queen Victoria Memorial. Oh. And the sun has come out over the palace. Look, that's really quite nice actually. And you can see obviously the, the water that um, should be in the fountain. There's only a little bit in there. But look, that's pretty cool. Right, if we start and zoom in, that is a little bit of Clarence House and you can see the flagpole um, where when Charles is in residence, his standard goes up. And I think that we're coming up to where the gates are, but they are heavily guarded by armed police. So I don't think we'll get very far. But you can see, if you look up, the Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother birthday gates. We'll see how far we can get before we're shot. Okay, so that's quite easy. We can get as far as um, this cordoned off rope that's in front of us. So if I zoom in, you can actually see the guards outside and that is the entrance to Clarence House where Charles and Camilla live and where formerly the Queen Mother used to live. So there we go, the birthday gates. There we go, over the tops of the protective fence. Uh, that is as much as Clarence House as I'm going to be able to show you. Coming up to the statues of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. So let's just pause and take a look at these little beauties. So of course the statue of King George VI was erected um, closer to the time of his passing and then later when Elizabeth the Queen Mother passed away her statue was added right beneath that of a husband King George VI. And that is where they both remain, looking onto the mound. Lots of building work going on at Admiralty Arch. And of course, that is the famous ceremonial arch where Diana was, um, was driven through on the horse-drawn carriage at her funeral, the, the central um, archway. And William and Harry walked behind her. <laughs> 